Hey YouTube, been a minute. Um, let's just hop straight into this. I don't have much of a script, but, uh, yeah, Zenith has launched. Um, about three, four weeks ago, I want to say now. And it's come out to pretty decent reception. The player base numbers have been pretty good. I'll put them up here on the Steam player charts, the peak numbers and stuff. I think it was around 150,000 peak on Steam, if I'm correct. I could be wrong there, but I believe it was an 150,000 player peak. Small post edit cut here. Um, I did not mean 150,000. I meant more like I thought it was 15k-ish, which looks about right because the Steam charts show 4.3k. So just, just small edit. And this is really important uh, for a few different reasons. But yeah, it was. It, this is a really big deal, right? That Zenith has gotten this big of a following, this big of a reaction from the internet community. A lot of people have said it's, you know, the only VR game you need, blah, blah, blah. But there's a lot more going under the surface rather than people just liking this game so far. However, that is to be seen. The game's been out for a little bit. The player base has dropped a lot. I think there wasn't much content in the game. Um, obviously, a lot of MMOs are designed around people grinding it really hard for a week or two, stopping the game, and coming back at the next DLC or whatever. It's, a lot of MMOs are designed that way, so it's not too worrying to see a player drop off after the release. But if it continues to drop, that's when you see a worry, right? But point is, the game has released to pretty good reception so far, it seems. There's obviously criticisms, there's obviously downsides. I personally have been too busy to play it, but let's talk about why it's important. So, first off, it's a big introduction to a lot of the world, to the idea of MMORPGs, and I think the fall of something like World of Warcraft is really important to this. It opened people's eyes to a lot more new opportunities, and I think this game wouldn't have been seen by as many eyes as it was if World of Warcraft hadn't died. I'll be honest. Um, I think that was a really important stepping stone for Zenith to be as popular as it was. Um, and it's really important now that MMORPGs have so many eyes on them because Zenith needs to do a good job. I'm very critical of Zenith. However, it's at a turning point where Zenith has to do a good job. And the reason for that is because it's now the face of all MMORPGs. VR MMORPGs, let me correct myself there. Uh... It has gotten such a big reception that if it fails to impress, it will jade people towards VR MMORPGs, generally speaking. You've seen this in a lot of genres. I think a really good example is something like movement shooters. A lot of devs are very afraid to make movement shooters because of games like Hyperscape failing drastically. And Hyperscape didn't fail because it was a bad game, for example, right? Hyperscape failed because of bad devs, bad executives making bad decisions. And I think the same thing is at risk here with Zenith. There's a lot of decisions that the devs have made with Zenith that make it a normal MMO, and I really think the game desperately needs more unique VR features. And I know I'm going to get a lot of attacks for this, probably in my comments from Zenith fans, but I'm going to be completely honest. Zenith does not offer much unique for VR. Yes, the hit system. I've played the beta and stuff, so I understand the systems of the game. Yes, you know, you can hit twice to the left, it activates ability, hit twice to the right, it activates an ability, and the magic system is somewhat gesture-based. I understand that. However, a VR game needs to be a VR experience. As of right now, Zenith offers nothing special. <clears throat> Whereas something like Alicia wants to offer a lot of VR features that are specific to VR with compasses and the way weapons are attached, Zenith really needs to rework its HUD. The HUD is not immersive enough. And I think all VR, game needs, all VR games need to work on this. This is something I was talking to someone about, um, and he made a really good point on this. Something like The Walking Dead. Walking Dead, you pull out a, a, a map type thing that pops up a menu. I think all VR games need to do this for immersion's sake. And I think I can understand the sake, for the sake of an MMO, I can understand the use of a HUD. But I think HUDs should be avoided as much as humanly possible because they are awful for the VR experience. VR is a lot about immersion, and every way you can avoid a HUD, you should. Um, that's really what I think in general on that take. But, point is, um, Zenith needs to make a really good impression. There's a few things that I think the game really needs to do in order to make a good impression. It needs to have a few things. It needs to have, number one, interesting raid encounters. And when I say interesting raid encounters, I mean things like have switches that you, that you, things you can only do in VR, right? Have switches that you have to pull on certain orders at certain timings. Have things that you have to activate. Buttons you have to hit. Uh, places you have to stand in. 
specifically as each player and, and do specific actions, you know, have things pop up around players, especially because Zenith is one of those games that's more futuristic. You could have a kind of futuristic floating HUD pop up around each player that they have to do certain actions on. You know, they each get warped to a kind of control room of some kind where they have to hit certain buttons and stuff. They're communicated between the players. I really hope a Zenith dev can see this because I think this is a really big, 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 big deal, right? Raids need to be very unique for, an MM for a VR MMORPG, otherwise people will get bored. I understand the devs want to release a desktop version of Zenith, but I think the VR version needs to have advantages over desktop. I think you need to encourage players to play on the VR version of Zenith over the desktop version. The desktop version needs to be the version that people who cannot acquire VR play on. And I think that's very important. Because this is the ushering of a VR MMORPG age. This is the first chance we've seen for players to shift over from normal MMORPGs to VR MMORPGs. And this is important because if this goes badly, it's like a long cooldown until people are willing to accept the next one like Alicia. I think Alicia, if Zenith does not do well, Alicia is at risk, right? Games like Alicia are at risk. There's a few other VR MMORPGs I can't remember the names of because I'm not super into them. But there are other VR MMORPGs out there that they are all at risk if Zenith does badly because it will jade audiences to this, right? So you need these unique raid mechanics that make people interested. You need things that make people go, whoa, that's super cool. And that's something you can only do in VR, you know, puzzle solving, you know, like have a puzzle of some kind pop up, have people have to assemble things in VR as a team, you know, things that like uh, stop talk or don't stop talking or whatever. What's it called? The one with the bomb, the stop talking and everybody explodes, I think is what it's called. Um, the one where you have to have one person in VR and they're looking at the bomb and they have to do things for the bomb while the other players are communicating to them through an instruction booklet. Right, you have to communicate back and forth on things, and you could do things just like this for Zenith, where you have players get warped into some kind of control room, and you have, let's say, 12 players in a raid. You have six players warped into control rooms, and six players on the ground floor that have to communicate different uh, symbols and things, and the players up in the control room have to respond to these symbols and hit certain buttons and pull certain levers and things in order to complete the encounter. And I think this is really cool, this would be really important. You can do something similar with dungeons. Obviously, you need to do a lighter version because dungeons are a more casual encounter and you need to have less things for those. But put secret passageways in that you can only do in VR, you know, hide switches and walls and things. Do these interesting things that really make people want to play a VR MMO, right? I mean, and also they need to mess with the HUD. I think the ball's floating in front of people. That's something I've been a big complaint about. Um, they need to, like I said, fix the HUD. Raid encounters need to be really cool. Dungeon encounters need to be pretty cool. Um, I think cooking is a good direction. I think the fact that you have a pan and you're actually flipping the food and cooking, I think it's a good direction to take with professions. And I think more professions, if they're going to add more professions to the game, professions all need to be like this medical stuff. You need to actually like wrap your wounds, right? Things like that. Um, if you're doing, you know, archaeology or something, you need to actually get like a pickaxe and sit there and pick away at it and then grab a brush and wipe away all the dirt and stuff. It needs to be something like if you've played Fossil Fighters before on the DS, it needs to be something like that, where you sit there and you mine away at this rock to uncover this really cool fossil, right? And I think it has the opportunity to do some really amazing things as a VR MMORPG, and it makes me very excited, but also very nervous, right? Because, like I said before, this has the potential to drive the VR MMORPG market very upwards or downwards either way um it has the opportunity to give people hope or disappointment um and this is a really big deal it really is um i think zenith <sighs> my end opinions here i think zenith is going the correct direction um i think they have a lot of interesting mechanics where you know you with the crafting system to upgrade your gear and stuff you go to these stations you pull out a piece of armor slot it in grab the upgrade pieces and shove them into the piece of armor and i think that's a great system and the more you add things that are interactive like that into VR, the more interested you're going to get new players because that's what they want out of a VR game. I think the devs desperately need to add more content and more types of content. What that is, I don't know. I'm not a game dev, obviously. But right now, as far as I'm aware, in the game, there's currently exploring, uh, world events, dungeons, and I believe one, maybe two raids. 
I could be wrong on that number. You know, correct me in the comments, obviously. If you've played Zenith and you know the number of raids, then I don't. However, I really don't think it's enough. Uh, you need to, especially with the MMO audience, players will blow through content. And so you need to provide some kind of extensive content. Add challenge mode raids, add mythic type raids. Something along that line is that your hardcore players can continue to grind now that they've finished the game. Quote unquote, right? They've max leveled, they've gotten great gear and stuff. But you need to add scaling difficulty. You need to add new mechanics. You need to add rewards for these players that are going to continue grinding your game. Otherwise, you're going to lose them. And if you lose these players, that's the death of your game. Um, I think the big worry now for Zenith is how are they going to make money? Uh, they're going to release cosmetics. However, are just cosmetics enough to fund a niche style MMO? Because let's be honest, VR MMORPGs, MMORPGs themselves are already a niche audience. VR MMORPGs are even more niche. So you're reaching out to a niche audience. You really need to make sure your funding is solid. So the question we're at now, and this is a dangerous place to be, is, is cosmetic or are cosmetics going to be enough? The question now is, are cosmetics going to be enough to fund this game? I'm not sure, right? Um, hopefully it will be, because I would really like to see Zenith continue. Like I said, I think Zenith is really important to the VR MMORPG market. Um, and I'm very critical of the game because I want these games to be good. I really do. Um, I want to see VR MMORPGs continue to develop. I want to see them change the MMORPG genre into something interesting and fun and cool. But in order to do that, we all as players need to be very, very critical of devs. Be proud of them when they do well. Give them a pat on the back when they do something great. But we also need to be extremely critical. And I've seen this failure in a lot of games. Players are afraid to be critical of the devs because they think something bad will happen. But if you're not critical of the devs, if you don't let them know when something is going wrong, they will not know. They are not you. They cannot read your mind. So I want to ask the entire Zenith player base, I want you guys to know, critical is important. Make sure you tell the devs exactly what you want out of this game. Make sure they hear you. Make sure they hear the changes you want as a community. All right? And make this game the best it can possibly be. I want to see this game succeed. That's why I'm so critical of it. I think it definitely has problems, and I think those problems can all be fixed. But as a community, people need to work together on it. We all need to work together as a VR community to come together and try to make this game as successful as possible. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded a video in a while. I've been really busy. Um, I'm currently looking at moving houses. I got a new job, all that kind of stuff. I'm actually recording this video at 6.30 in the morning because I work graveyard shift. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. This video wasn't perfect. I know it wasn't scripted. Um, I didn't have time to really write a script. Hopefully, like I said, things are calming down now. I'm going to be coming out with some new videos. Um, I'm going to have two types of videos moving forward. Uh, I'm currently pursuing competitive gaming, so I'm going to be making a video series on my improvement and my progress in getting better at gaming, and so you guys will see some videos like that, and I'm going to continue making videos on MMOs and different games as they as I have the time to check them out and play them and things. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a fan-freaking-tastic day, night, afternoon, whichever it is. Uh, thank you so much for watching. This is your boy, Yays, peacing out. I will see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.